Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this Repricer.com video, we're going to introduce you to the various methods you can use to automatically calculate your min-max prices. Within Repricer, we offer a number of methods you can use to do this. For example, you can use cost, net margin, or even RRP to make these calculations. Before we get started, it is important to know if you swap a rule to use one of these calculations, it will automatically remove any already assigned min-max prices. For this reason, we would strongly recommend you make a backup of your min-max prices before making any changes. This is easy to do, and since we're about to start playing with them, let's do it now. So click on Imports on the left-hand side of your screen. From here, click the option to download Amazon template. Just when it downloads, open it up and make sure you've got all your products there. This way you can be confident the backup is there if you need to swap back. Perfect. With that done, let's have a look at the product screen where we can see some of the values you can use for these calculations. Click Products, then Amazon on the left hand side of your screen. Once your products have loaded, let's just click on any product at all and we'll take a look at it. So here we have our product sidebar. Scroll down a little and we'll find the first value we're going to look at. It's RRP. RRP, which stands for Recommended Retail Price, is a set value which you can enter and then use in your calculations later. We're not going to do anything with this now, but we will come back to it whenever we look at our rule screen. The next and more common approach for automatically calculating the min-max is to use your cost prices. You'll see here at the bottom we have our Product Profitability section. Whenever you've entered your costs, we'll use this to show you how profitable your products have been. Click Edit and we can enter our costs. Just a quick note to say that you can set your RRP or cost prices all via an import as well as doing it via the screen. So here we have our cost screen. Now some of these are set by you and others are set automatically by us by downloading data from Amazon. The first four options, item cost, shipping cost, pick pack cost, and VAT are all options set by yourself. You can fill in as many or as few of these as you'd like. Just make sure whatever you fill in is reflective of your actual costs. The last three options are automatically downloaded by us from Amazon, are then used as part of the profitability or net margin calculations. And then we'll move on and have a look at some of the calculations we can use as part of our rules. Click Repricing Rules on the left hand side of your screen. Then choose a repricing rule to edit. Here on the first page you'll find the min max product price section. Please note that this feature is available only on the ultimate plan, so these options will not be available on our lower plans. So let's get stuck straight into this. The first tab, manually assign, is exactly what you expect. You would set your min max prices on your products. The next three options are our automatic min max calculations, the ones we're here to discuss today. The first and most popular is net margin. With a net margin, you'll enter your cost prices on the product level and then will automatically download your fees from Amazon. Here you get to say how much profit you'd like to make on top of your costs plus fees, whether that be by a percentage or be a value. If you'd like to go into much more detail about the nitty gritty of how these calculations work, we have another video completely focused on net margin on the channel which you might want to have a look at. Something just quickly to bear in mind is that for your net margin max price calculation, you can set a maximum of 65%. So let's move on to our next option, item cost price. Think of this as net margin light. All it's doing is a calculation based on the item cost you set on the product. It doesn't take into account fees or any of the other costs. This is a handy solution if you want to hold all the cost calculations on your own side and upload that total number and then allow us just to add the profit margin on top. And finally we have RRP which works very similarly to the item cost calculation. What it does is it looks at the RRP field and you can set your min max prices based on it. Like our net margin you can calculate this one with a value or a percentage. And with those, I'm sure you can see how much time you can really be saving by using these automatic processes to set your main max prices. If you need any help with these calculations, or would just like a hand, get in touch with our support team. They'll be happy to help. If you haven't started your free trial with the service yet, we offer one 14 days, no credit card required. 
or why don't you get in touch with one of our helpful team who'll be more than happy to arrange a demo. Thanks for joining us today and have a great day.